Jesus Christ is coming soon and He is King and He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, Alpha and Omega, beginning at the end. New York City, your sins have filled up the cup of God's wrath and He is very angry with you. Did you know, New York City, that your babies are being removed from the womb and killed at 40 weeks gestation. Innocent lives taken in the name of convenience. Our selfishness and our pride has eaten us up. New York City, do you hear the voice of God today pleading with you to humble yourself in His sight so that He might lift you up? If you run to Jesus, He will not deny you. He will take you in as His own and He will wrap you in a robe of righteousness. He will give you a garment of praise against the spirit of heaviness and He can heal this land, my friends. Disease, viruses, bacteria, you don't have to live in fear. We're so afraid of dying. But your soul is eternal. And one day we will stand before the Almighty God, naked in our sin, and we will account for the words and the deeds of our life. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. You can find life in Jesus Christ, in His hand, the soul of every living thing the breath of all mankind, the Word of God is going forth. Do you hear His voice, New York City? The hammer that breaks the rocks. Let Him lift you up. Let Him breathe life. Let Him bring repentance, restoration, and forgiveness. Today is the day of salvation. Do not turn your ear from the voice of Almighty God. The hand of the Lord is not too short that it cannot save, nor is ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from God, and your sins have turned His face away from you. Your hands have become defiled with innocent blood. Your fingers are covered in iniquity. Your mouth speaks lies, and your tongues utter and mutter all sorts of perversiveness. We are an ungodly nation. America, we must repent. New York City, now is the time. Humble yourself in the sight of God and He will lift you up. Repent, New York City. Repent for your idolatry. Repent for your waywardness, your pride, vanity, love of money, materialism. We're here observing the lights, but you're being programmed. The media tells you what to believe, what to fear, what to love, what to hate. We're turned against one another. Whites hating blacks, blacks hating whites. Racism being taught by the media and the television, being programmed by programs. And we're being the blind, leading the blind. And the Bible says we will fall into a pit. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. My friends, what does it profit if we gain the world and yet lose our soul in eternity? What does it profit if we, lay, if we gain all sorts of money? Our pockets are full, but our souls are empty. Celebrities kill themselves for a reason. Famous people, rich people dying at the hands of foolishness because the money cannot save, it cannot satisfy, it cannot fulfill, it cannot give you life. Jesus gives you life. And He has said, I am the resurrection. I am the life. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you can be saved. Saved from what? Saved from eternity in hell. Saved from being cast into the lake of fire. Where the worm dieth not, the fire never stops, the suffering never ends. You can find life in Jesus. 
Salvation is a free gift. You cannot earn life with God. The ransom has been paid. The payment has been made. And you can receive from God, but you got to humble yourself. You got to let go of the pride. You have to repent, New York City. The time is late. The night is far spent. Choose this day who you will serve. Will you serve the corporations? Will you serve the big businesses? Will you serve the government? Or will you serve the one true king? King of glory, the great I am. He is returning. Do you hear his voice? He is bringing a people to himself to raise up as warriors in the spirit in this time. Hear his voice today. You have no time left to wait. New York City, repent. The end of all things is upon you. New York City, what desperate times you are in. The hand of God is against you. You must repent. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let us forsake the ways of wickedness and turn to God because that's all you have left. You must repent before the time is truly up. You do not know when your heart will stop beating, when your breath will stop coming into your lungs. When that's it, the lights turn off, your soul is gone. Where will you be in eternity? Think about that today. Repent, for the kingdom of God has come near to you.